Hey folks, today on Soft Plastics 101, we're talking a favorite target species for many anglers. We're talking the humble flathead, but today we're gonna to break down the banks, break down the bite a bit, and we're gonna to talk to you about catching flathead on high tide. Flathead are easiest to target on those last couple of hours of the run out and first hour of the run in tide, but at high tide, people can often find it difficult to catch flathead and to locate flathead. So today we're gonna to break down a few different scenarios, break down a few different banks, and show you how to catch a few flatties on high tide. One of the spots we're fishing, so I generally say to people, on the high tide when you're targeting flathead, there's two spots you wanna target. You wanna target those awesome bits of water and structure that the fish can't get to at low tide, so they move up into those areas when the tide moves up. So you're looking for areas that have got a bit of structure, be it timber, be it weed beds, be it mangrove edges. So you're looking for structure and you're also looking for bait and there's a lot of bait flicking in here this morning. The other area you want to target is if you've got a system where there's a small drain or something that you fish the mouth of the drain at low tide, when the tide moves in, you can move up into that drain and you've got a bit more water to fish that same sort of area where you do catch them on the low tide. But our first spot this morning, we've just pulled up, we're targeting a mangrove edge that's got a sand bank and a bit of run. There's a lot of bait here and we're fish on straight away. So when we looked at our flathead kit, you may remember I'm a bit partial to paddle tail plastics myself. So you can get them on your, get them on your curl tails, like your two and a half inch grubs, three and a half inch grubs and four inch streaks curly tails. But I'm normally loaded up with two and a half inch slim swims, three inch minnows, uh, three inch slim swims, those paddle tail styles of plastics. So not a monster fish, but a pretty solid little start for the morning. Remember when you're handling your flathead, you want to watch those spikes on the side of them. I normally will hold them in between those two sets of fins. They've got a hard section there that you can hold the flathead on. That allows you to pick him up and you're protecting yourself from those spikes on the side and also that spike on the back of him there that can do you some damage. So there you go. That's that little two and a half inch Slim Swims paddle tail. We're only fishing in probably two foot of water and we're just hopping that plastic back towards us, making the cast in around the bait, the cast in around the mangrove edge, and we're just hopping it back out. So those flathead will often just patrol all those spikes that are in along those mangrove edges. So you generally, I'll cast right into the mangroves and I'll bring it out fairly quickly to the edge of where those spikes are that are pretty snaggy, allow it to fall down, and then I'll just hop it back out from there and the flathead will often patrol those edge of those spikes. So we might send him back in for a swim. Away, beautiful. So what we're doing here on this bank, we're basically working the edge of these mangroves. So we've got the electric just ticking along slowly, pushing us up into the current, and we're just fishing our way along, and we're hitting the dark edge. So sunnies are good, handy to have a good pair of polarized sunnies, because we can spot the dark edge, which is the edge of the mud, and the edge of those mangrove spikes. So we don't want to spend our whole day up there unhooking lures from those mangrove spikes. So it's nice to be able to just put that lure right on the edge, right on the edge, and just work our way along. If you don't have an electric motor, that's fine. You can start at the other end of this bank and just use the tide to slowly drift you along the edge and you might just have to adjust your position every now and then. The other thing you can do is look for standout structure along the bank. So you can look for little drains coming out, you can look for points, you can look for areas where there's there's a bit of an inlet, and you can even anchor and work those areas along the bank as well. So we're just cast in, we're right on the edge of that drop off, let it fall to the bottom, give it a couple of hops, and we're basically just gonna let it hit the bottom and give it a couple of hops and work it back towards us. And those flathead will be laying in ambush, just waiting for bait fish or prawns or things to come out off that edge or work their way up onto the edge and hopefully we can score ourselves a fish. This area on low tide would be completely out of the water. So don't be afraid to get up in that shallow water when you're chasing flathead. We're in, again, probably 60 centimetres of water. So we had a quick flick at the other spot we were at, landed that fish, got bitten off by a nice one, and we thought we'd move over and we've got about probably an hour of running tide left. So. The tide's pushing up into these mangroves, it's pushing the bait and stuff up in here as well. 
So we're just basically, there's a dark edge, which is the mud and the mangrove roots. And we're basically just flicking into that dark edge and working our lures back out from the bank. And as I said, there's no water here at low tide, but on this high water, it's a perfect place to get in and target a few flatfish. Not a monster, but again, another, another legal dusky flathead. That time we've got the three inch minnows on. If you were looking for one all round fantastic placky to chase flathead, that three inch minnows would be probably the go to as a starting point. And even up in these shallows here, I'm running a quarter ounce 3 0 jig head. That gives me plenty of distance casting. I can stay out on the bank a bit and I know I'm on the bottom and I'm just hopping that up and down off the bottom there. So not a monster, but another, another legal flatty in pretty quick time. And we've got a bit more time to work this bank on that, that hour of run in that we've got. So I'll just pop that out. You can see that there, the water's pretty clear. It's, it's, it's greeny, cleary sort of water, a little bit of murk in it, but so I'm fishing a natural sort of bait fish colour in that green lantern on that demon's jig head. Beautiful little fish. Right in the pocket, right in the pocket, beautiful. A little bit more drag there. We're up on the flats. So this, this area that we're fishing here now, we were fishing mangrove edges, which are beautiful on the high tide. This section here is a section of broken weed. So on the low tide, there's not a lot of water here tides up and over this weed flat so these flathead are getting up on top of this weed and they're in amongst all the pockets so the trick is to try and use your sunnies to see the sandy pockets in between the weed and that cast that I made then was just right up into the end of a little sandy strip so we're just pickpocketing these sandy pockets and we're bouncing this three inch slim swims in amongst those sand pockets just before this fish I had another fish Follow me up, he was a bigger fish. Followed me up, had a bit of a swipe, but I missed him right at the boat. So they're pretty aggressive, they'll follow it right up to the boat. So, so it's worth working your retrieve right to the boat, especially in this shallower sort of water. So again, high tide, we're, we're looking for structure, we're looking for water that will attract the fish to here. So why do the fish come up here? We've got all these broken weed patches and we've got the sandy patches in between them, which are perfect for them to lay in and also to hunt. And the weed is a good hiding place for prawns and bait fish and those sorts of things. So there's, there's plenty of weed here to attract the fish. There's those sandy patches for them to lay in. And the tide's in, but we're still catching flathead. So just remember to get, get up, get up where those fish are gonna be up hunting when that tide's up. Don't worry if you're only in a couple of feet of water, the fish will hold in the area. So there you go, there's another nice high tide flathead. We'll slide him back in the water and hopefully you can find him up near those mangrove edges or up on the flats. So just to give you a bit of an idea of what we're fishing here and where that fish came from, the darker sections here are the weed and the lighter sections are the sand. So basically I'm taking the lure and we're driving it through these sand patches. So just in there is a little sand pocket. They're a little bit tricky to see, but once you get a feel for it and you've got your glasses and you're, and you're paying attention to what's going on in there, You'll often see also bait will sort of work along the edge of that sand as well. So basically we, we call it picking pockets and we're just casting into those pockets as we work our way along this bank. So again, there's the dark weed coming out here and I'm gonna make my cast ahead of the boat to the edge of that weed. And I can just work along the weed and as you come along in some areas, you'll see the sand will actually poke in a bit into the weed and those little pockets are dynamite for a flatty. Perfect for a flatter to get up and hunt in there. Oh, that feels all right. So we're up on that flat still, fishing up, pickpocketing those weed beds. Oh, he's not a bad little fish, he's a beautiful colour. Nicely marked. We're actually fishing up on this flat, and picking those pockets and we saw some gar feeding and flicking around on the surface. So as soon as we saw the gar, that was it. Green lantern it was. 
and that plastic very much resembles the, the green and cleary sort of colorations of a gar. So again, always, always looking around, always thinking what's happening, look for bait flicking, what does the bait look like, match the hatch where you can. There's lots of things you can do to try and generate some interest. So there we go, that green lantern, plastic, very garfish in colour, perfect for the flatties and that and that three inch minnows profile. So those paddle tails, as, as I've always said, I'm a bit I'm a bit keen on the paddle tail side of things. Anything in that two and a half to four inch sort of paddle tail size is good for a flatty. But for those that prefer the curly tails, two and a half inch grubs, those two and a half inch through to four inch plastics are perfect. Head wise, when you get up into the shallows, the mangroves, the weed edges, picking those pockets, you can go as light as an eighth. A lot of people fish an eighth, a sixth. I generally, I like to fish a quarter. I run and gun, I fish fairly quick. And I know that I'm getting the, hitting the bottom, no problem with that with that quarter ounce head. There you go, that's another, another legal size flathead. Nice, healthy, chunky fish. And again on the high tide. So we've, we've basically fished an hour of run in tide, an hour of run out tide, possibly the worst stage of the tide for catching flathead. We've landed half a dozen fish, um, had another one hit and miss and also had one bitten off. So, you know, potentially eight flathead in a couple of hours fishing the wrong tide, the tide that most people don't like to fish. So have a think about where you're fishing, have a think about why the flathead might be in the area, what's attracting them up there. You know, get, they're up there looking for bait, they're looking for food. Look for water movement and eddies, look for bait fish, look for structure that might encourage these guys to get in there and hunt some bait. There you go, high tide flathead, get amongst them. For more details on the plastics and the jig heads that we're using while we're targeting these flathead, make sure you check out the Soft Plastics 101 chapter, Soft Plastics Kit, and that gives you a full rundown on the plastics and jig heads that we like to fish for flathead across both the high and the low tides. A great starting point is any of those Z-Man plastics in the paddle tail or a curl tail around that two and a half inch to four inch sort of size. And jig head wise, we generally start around about a one eighth and one sixth and go through to about a quarter ounce for fishing the high tide mangrove edges and picking the weed pockets. So there you go, see you on the water.